What's going on guys? Me David here back for another shave. Man, the holiday season is upon us. The real holiday season. Like, I never consider Thanksgiving part of like the, when I hear holiday season. Really, when I think of the holidays, I really think of Christmas. It just is what it is. Even though Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, I love food. What can I say? But, um, that's my favorite holiday, Thanksgiving. But, when I really truly think of the spirit of the holidays, it's going to be, of course, Christmas. And... I'd have to say, dude, the community has been absolutely amazing with its generosity. Um, left and right, man. Um, people hitting me up. Hey, dude, let me send you this. Let me send you that. Um, surprise packages coming in, dude. And don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not flooded with packages. But, you know, it's happened more than once, which is an absolute blessing. I want to thank uh, you guys. Um really just truly deeply i fucking appreciate it dude it's um it gets a little overwhelming sometimes how amazing the community is man i always tell you guys the strength of this community isn't in the youtubes isn't in the instagrams isn't in facebook the power of this community is in the people man. the people here keep me coming um and for those people that and it's, it's pretty often Oh, I have so much stuff. I don't want to buy stuff. And, you know, I just kind of lurk around and stuff. Those are the people. The people that do that, they get tired of buying stuff and tired of, like, the community, the the, the hobbyists, are the people that are not making human connections. Um, the human connections in these hobbies will make it so fucking amazing, dude. The people in this community are great. And, um... Yeah, so the people that usually die out are usually the people that keep to themselves, don't fucking make friends, and you get burnt out. I don't care to buy a bunch of soaps. I buy them for one, the YouTube community, because it's fun to do to, to do videos with you guys. And I have fun talking about new releases with my friends, with the CDBs, with Junior, with Lather Hog, with Sefferton Shaves, and with Nate Barrowmeister. I love talking about new releases with those guys. I don't, I don't need any more soap. I could never buy another soap again in my life, and I'd be totally fine with it. I don't give a shit about buying soaps. What I care about is having fun talking about those soaps with my buddies. That's the great part of it, man. So, again, I said all that to just say, man, thank you guys for all your generosity. It has been an amazing year for wet shaving, at least for me, dude. Uh, one of the fucking most fun times I've had in wet shaving, period. I'm in year nine, I think I am now. It's just crazy. So, today, I'm actually going to be shaving with two items that were sent to me. I don't know if you want to call them as gifts or signs of appreciation or whatever you want to refer to them as, but... Um, they're fucking amazing. They're great. So first, I'm going to go with the soap. Bam. Citrus Blast Shave Soap. I want to thank the people over at uh, the Razor Company, therazorcompany.com. They sent me this soap along with another holiday release, which we'll get to that in another video. But they sent me these two soaps. I appreciate it. Let's welcome Van Ule back into the den because I haven't used one of their soaps in a while. And I've always loved Monica stuff. I just... Haven't gotten it. There's just so much shit to get to. I just can't get to it all. But, bam. So, thank you, Razor Company. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I don't know. Putting your trust in me. Uh, sending me some items. Just, uh, again, I don't even know why they sent me the items. But, I do appreciate it nonetheless, man. And, I hope I do this product justice. I hope I do your company justice um, with this video. Thank you so much. And, there ain't no secret that um, I got group... Uh, I don't know if you want to call them. They're clicks. You just certain you click with certain people, then you don't with others. It just is what it is. I have my group of friends. Well, part of the, that group of friends is my boy, Chris Bailey, CDB, the Reverend, the pastor of the Church of Bailey. He sent me this baby right here. That's right. You guys have actually seen Chris Bailey sent me a badger brush. This badger brush, the handle was made by Craving Shaving in their faux burl, which I think is a really cool effect that they make over there with a the executive knot. This is the hand tied knot um, or custom knot or Amer uh, assembled in America knot from Frank over at Strike Gold Shave. So... <laughs> I have the note. I'm keeping the note forever, but fucking Chris and all of Chris's infinite glory. He put, uh, he wrote a note in there and it, it was to the Mexican blade. Um, well, if you don't know what that's about, I had a dream that I was slaying vampires 
with Buffy and Blade. Um, um, anyway, that, that's a story for another day. Some of you have already heard it. Um, so he calls me now the Mexican Blade. Mexican Blade, A, um, decided to send you this brush. Who am I kidding? I'm never really going to love Badger brushes. Thought I'd send it to somebody that would appreciate it more. And believe me, Chris, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. This will get years and years of service in my uh, den. God willing. God willing that I am around to give it those those uh, those uses. So, slightly gelled. Looks nice and dense. The I will say the loft is a bit higher than what I am accustomed to. I usually don't go a lot this high. This loft looks probably 54-ish. I could be wrong. I know these Craving Shavings brushes do not have a very deep hole. We shall see nonetheless though. I'm gonna load up this Van Nule nice and heavy. I've never been a fan of the little, uh, the way she kind of pumps in the 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 little stars and stuff. The very first soap that I ever got from Monica when she first got into like the hobbyist side of shaving with us in the Facebook groups, it was just a smooth pour. I really, really enjoyed that one. I'm gonna load nice and heavy. Maybe heavier than I need, I'm not sure, but it's been so long that I've used this stuff that I'm gonna make sure I give it the very best possibility to succeed. That looks heavy enough to me. If it can't succeed after that, it is shitty. Which, again, I've had Monica soaps before. I've always enjoyed them. When she first broke into the hobbyist side of things, she uh, sent me a soap that was, the scent was after Dolce & Cabana Light Blue. Um, I believe it was her uh, Aquarius, I think. I think the Aquarius or Celadon. So it had a lot of words on it. I can't quite remember, but I did really enjoy that. So we're going to get into it. Holy monkey. All right. So this is a densely packed knot. So even though the loft is higher than I usually typically enjoy, or I typically would choose because most of my knots are going to be Chinese made knots. They're usually not as dense. So you set them a bit lower in order for it to be able to, to replicate some backbone. This is set higher and definitely doesn't need help with the backbone. It is a dense, dense knot, super soft. Very nice. Now, the, the finished product on these knots have been a little consistent inconsistent um we've had a couple that have uh, kind of fallen apart hopefully that doesn't happen to this one very nice lather i think if van yule just went with somebody that would does kind of help them rebrand you don't have to change the name but some of their labels are a little weird they don't look like a solid ass quality designed label. Um, I think that they, they kind of updated the packaging and made it a bit nicer. I think that they have a good product. There's not much not to like about it. Um, like this label right here. I actually like the design of this label, but it doesn't look sharp. It looks kind of like you copied and pasted it. That's, you know, and labels are a big thing now. Whether you like it or not, labels are important to a lot of the consumers here. So, and then the razors I'm gonna be using today are two razors that I'm sending out to a couple of buddies of mine. This one is finished on a 15K Suhiro. This is gonna be for Nate Baromeister. I already sent him my Karako Edge, and now he's gonna go ahead and try the 15K Edge. And then this one right here is for my buddy Bob Gonzo, rocking and shaving with Gonzo here on the YouTubes. This has my signature Karako Edge. I prefer the Karako, it's just my favorite fucking finisher. It just is what it is. Um, and I'm sending this for him. Test on my edge, see how he likes it. Hopefully he does enjoy it. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the 15K. See how this feels. So I did a little bit more. So I have already sh tested this edge before, but I didn't do something that Robert Ortiz had recommended to Junior when he was having a conversation with him. He said, finish it under running water. So. Even though I took this razor to the 15K already, I didn't completely finish it under running water. It was just under, it was just a wet stone.
Boop. Very nice. I'll tell you that's who hero. 15k it's comfortable man i really i actually do look forward to getting that suhiro 20k i think it's gonna be a really nice addition and again once again i have a different type of finish on my razors i currently i'm using as finishers i'm using the suhiro 15k for a synthetic edge i am using the belgian codical which is my it's sharp enough to get through anything apparently but it's just not the sharpest but it's really really shines and comfortable and then I got the ILR, which has been a nice balance of both. You know, it's smooth. It seems to smoothen out that 12K finish that I was using before. So I actually did finish a uh, razor. The, I did a life shave in lather and blade with a Wade and Butcher bowl razor that the edge was just rough. It, was, it wasn't good anymore. It was time and I finally grew, you know, let the nuts hang low and I honed one of my Wade and Butchers. And I actually finished it. Ew. I had a loop. See, very well hydrated lather. I like the performance of Van Ule. Unfortunately, um, the, some people have had some issues with the proprietor. I guess she can be a little sensitive at times. Um, she's been great to me. Anytime I've ever talked to Monica, she's been fantastic. Um, but it doesn't mean I'm going to ignore what other people are reporting to me. And that doesn't stop me from getting her stuff. Again, it's just been there's so much shit to use. It's hard to get back to stuff, especially, again, I'm not thrilled by the label designs. But dude, just what an underappreciated formula this is. If it's the same formula as it was before that I'm thinking it is, this is actually a mixture of a shaving cream and a melt and pour base. How that works out, I don't know the science behind it. I don't know the ins and outs of what she does with it. But that's what it was back in the day when I would have these conversations with her. I don't know if she's updated anything. I haven't really seen her around too much. I know I have her on Facebook still, but... Look at that. It takes water nice, dude, and just the lather just... It would be really good. And I like the stuff. It's one of those underappreciated um, products. And again, I don't know if it's her fault or the people's fault. It's just... For whatever, it's just not... It doesn't do as well as you would think. But... Dude, that Suhiro stone is fucking comfortable. Holy shit. That's a nice goddamn edge. Man. So, allegedly, I watched a video that Robert Ortiz did about the Suhiro 20K. And that allegedly is like the, the, the JNAC killer that... It, it mimics pretty well what a JNAT does. Now, I don't know about all that nonsense, but this 15K is fucking crazy smooth. I'm really excited to hear uh, Nate's thoughts on it. Again, I'm not suffering too, too much. Again, I could feel that my skin was roughed up the other day, but... It's not aggravating anything. I feel a little bit tender, but I was feeling that before the shave. And again, that was due to that rough ass edge. But this right here feels really good. Nate, you're going to enjoy that edge, brother. I think you are.
I swear, the cuticle, dude, it feels like it's not doing nothing. Like, you don't even feel the edge, but it gets through the hair. So I'm doing, I'm doing the long, very slow strokes just so you can see if anything grabs or kicks up or anything. And it's just, it's just going. That's cool. That's pretty good. So I had to drag it a little funny because these scales are a bit chunky. And I was trying to see if I could avoid getting um, any lather on the scales, but I just can't. The scales on the Encina are just, they're fat, so they kind of get in the way a little bit. Both of these edges are good. They're both passable. They're both going to be sent out as is. Um, I'm really, really liking that 15K. I'm really impressed with how comfortable it is. And it does feel sharper than the codical. So that codical, man, it, it may get you, you know, jump back a little bit. Because um, that feels really good. That shit feels good. Fucking burn myself. Ow, bitch. Third and final pass. I will say this craving shavings, this is kind of like their signature shape. Doesn't do much. At least not that I've noticed more than this shape here. Yeah, see, with with the it's not a badger hair, it's actually my own little stupid mustache here. I noticed with this badger hair here, I know again I've still been roughed up. Because I feel it here and here, and I felt that from the initial lathering up. No fault of the brush, but I was, I was left pretty beat up after that last shave, man. A better edge is on it now, so I shouldn't be running into those issues anymore, but, you know, nonetheless, I'm still feeling the effects of it. I could do the long strokes on the against the grain, I mean across the grain, but this is my favorite pass. I'm gonna do it the way that I usually enjoy it. And just short, calm, just nice feeling strokes. Okay, smooth, comfortable result there. Very hydrated lather, so it is making a mess. More so than usual. That was nice. Again, do I'll say it over and over again where the codical really shines is those against and across grains, man. They just feel so goddamn good. What a nice result. Now let's finish up with this 15k, which I'm telling you, this 15k is no slouch. right there I feel that tenderness right there that way the butcher got me good yeah. I gotta go back and watch uh, Nate's uh, live he did this morning slept in a little bit well because I stayed up late to put in my brisket. I cooked the brisket last night. 
and it was probably about in the 30s i think last night late early late 30s early 40s in temperature and the grill was having a little issue getting up to 10 it got there but i still had to watch it so i didn't go to bed until like one in the morning my time so i miss his life gotta watch it he used the ace of spades he loved it well that's the end of the third pass let me go ahead and rinse this off and we'll get into the final thoughts all right we are back go ahead and rinse this off Dude, I really just splashed myself with a bunch of water because I had all this just full of shit. So very, very nice results. Again, I did feel that tenderness going into the shave here and here, right here specifically, and all along here. That was the remnants of two days ago of just getting roughed up by that razor. These razors were fantastic. I don't feel any uh, additional discomfort. That level is still the same. No redness. Well, I kind of have a red tone to my skin color anyway, so... You're just going to have to trust me because I'm looking at myself in the video here and I look kind of red, but whatever. But trust me, as I look in the mirror section, which is just right over to the, this direction this way, oh, no irritation, no no flare-ups, no nothing. So that's good. Both of those edges do pass and I will go ahead and put on my favorite Citrus Ford Aftershave, Beaverwood Right. Well, now it is what? Black Ship Grooming, Shipwreck Co. Love this stuff. Very nice. Very, very good. Alright. Turn that up a little bit. Alright, so let's talk about the products. Van Ule, man. Again, just one of the... There's many of them, but this is one of the most underappreciated uh, soaps that there are. I love the base. I feel hydrated. I feel good. I love the performance in the shave. It lathers fucking super easy. It loads super easy. Just the stuff ain't special. Again, I like this this label. I really, really do. It just doesn't look sharp at all. It looks a little fuzzy. It looks like you're not even like, I need a new glasses prescription, just something. It just looks a little fuzzy. And um, yeah, if she just upped her label game, even the same tubs, up your label game, I think Van Ule could really see an uptick in popularity because it's just, they're not very pretty to have around. But alas, they still work really well. So that's the type of stuff you're just going to have to deal with. It just is what it is. Thank you so much, Razor Company, for sending me this. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's fucking good, man. It's really, really good. And the Craving Shavings Brush with the Frank Misa Strike Gold Shave Executive 1. Now, I think this is one. Um, I think as they go on, Executive 2, 3, 4, I believe that's how it's going to follow in terms of the batches and whatnot. But it's a fucking good knot. Dense. Set higher than usual, but still has plenty of backbone. So, hell of a job, man. Hell of a job. I look forward to see how it breaks in. I know Chris got about five, six shaves out of that. I'm going to get many, many more. So, hey, guys, if you made it to this point of the video, you know, damn well, I appreciate you, man. Thank you guys for riding with me all year. 2020 is a year that I came back just really fast and furious with the videos and you guys have just been down with me from the whole time man uh, Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh, please come continue on enjoy your holidays with the family that you are allowed to see um, And yeah, just have a good time man. This is too much It's a crazy world. I know but there's still a lot of good shit going on in here man. So again Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.